What's up Royals? I'm Kai. Hope you're doing well. And today, as promised, I am bringing you another egg cutting video. And this is the third clutch that could potentially contain a lightning pied. So stick around. You're watching Lucas Landon Royals. That's right, Royals, I said lightning pieds, but to be correct, they are actually VPI exantic pieds, but I'm gonna use lightning pieds anyway. If you've been following me on this channel, you probably watched the other two videos where I cut open two clutches of eggs and produced three lightning pieds, one of them being a pastel. Very, very happy about the results from those clutches, hoping for the similar results within this clutch uh, the dad is a pied head exantic. The mom is a pastel head exantic, 66% het for pied. So we are definitely trying to prove her out to be het pied. Now there's still a lot of things going on here. We still have breeding activity. We're waiting on eggs to be laid. We got clutches of eggs in the incubator waiting to hatch. And one of them did hatch just a few days ago. So I want to give you an update on that. Actually two clutches, but you'll see what i mean here we go so i gotta tell you a little bit about what happened we had a little bit of an issue during incubation um, i made two orders for these tubs and i guess somehow the mold might have changed a little bit because i used i might have used the lid from the second order on the tub of the first order and so i think it just didn't seal um, it got really dry in there. I didn't notice it because those dry ones were in the back. The ones in the front, that's where all the humidity travels. Um, they stayed nice and plump. So we did lose a few eggs uh, out of this clutch. Now, there's actually two clutches here. And what's funny is, let me just first get some of these out of the way so you can see. Uh, first thing I noticed was that all of these clowns look the same. Now, we have three genes, three codoms in the mix, but yet somehow they all look identical. Um, this one is from a different clutch. It was just a single egg from that clutch. Everything else was slugs. So I figure since it's only a day apart from these guys, I just put them together in the same egg box. That one right there that looks to be gray, milky color, that one actually pipped before this one. So that one pipped a couple days early. Then this one from the other clutch, which was a day early, late a day early pipped. And then these guys pipped. So that's why this one and this one look to be in shed while these guys still look like they just came out of the egg. Um, I did get a pretty good sex ratio, I think, uh, from this clutch. This one is a male. Let's just put that aside. I don't want to think about it because keep getting male heavy clutches and uh it's just irritating to be honest um let's see i think that's a female i think that's a female let me see nope what did i do this is the male i believe this is the male so these three are females and this is the male so now let me tell you go back to the funny part um there are three codoms. The female is a blade clown. The male is a pastel extreme gene clown. They look the same, unless the other four eggs that didn't make it had the other variations. I don't know, but these look practically identical. I mean, you have this thick, not thick, uh, connected pretty much dorsal stripe along the back connected is not the word either because it obviously it's not connected um, but you get my point there's this dorsal stripe along the back you got some little bit of dots specks along the side now you can see there's some variations that's a little bit thicker that's a little bit thinner this one's also a little bit thinner that one's a little bit thicker but I, I don't really know what to attribute the 
width of the dorsal stripe too, to be honest. I mean, the head stamps all look virtually identical. That's a very, very uh, textbook pastel head stamp. So maybe I got a bunch of pastels. I know the Extreme Gene Clown head stamp doesn't look like that. The Blade head stamp doesn't look like that. So that must be the pastel. And obviously the Blade would pull in a lot of the side pattern. But I, I, I wasn't expecting it to pull it in this much to be this clean. So my only explanation will bet either either I have a very very clean blade gene um, from the female or these are all pastel blade extreme genes so I don't really know how else to explain it that's that's my best guess uh, for this clutch um, if you really want to know this one is a double het for DG Pied for Desert Ghost and Pied. I had a Desert Ghost Pied clutch earlier this season. I think I produced uh, majority males, like a 5.3 or something like that. And then I decided to see if I can try to get some more females. That clutch pretty much slugged out. I got one egg out of it. And when it came out of the egg, I popped it. I was ecstatic because it's a pastel female is what I thought. Um, and then when I was popping these, I decided to try to check this one, confirm, and I saw hemipenes. So that was kind of a bummer. Not kind of, it was a bummer. Let's be honest. All right, let me put these away. We'll get these to wait for these to shut out and uh, maybe do an update if I see anything relevant to share. All right, Royals, so for the moment that you've been waiting for and the reason why I rushed home from work, it is to cut open this clutch of eggs that could potentially yield another lightning pied. All right, this is gonna be my last chance this season at trying to produce double visuals. And we don't even have 100% guaranteed heads in here. So the female is a pastel 100% het for Xanthic, but only 66% het for Pied. So not only am I trying to produce some double visuals, but I also am trying to prove out that female to be het for Pied. The male is Pied, and he is 100% het for Xanthic. So, um, if they're not visual pies, then there'll be 100% heifer pies. And if these hatchlings are not visual exanthics, then they're only gonna be 66% het for exanthic. Now these eggs have been in the incubator for 57 days. And they're looking nice and ready to be cut. So here we go. Come on, pieds. So I see some white. I'm not sure if that's the belly or <gasps> that's a pied. Ho 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 ho. So the female it did prove out. So the female is a hundred percent het for pied because we hit a pie from this. Wow. So happy about that. So she is. Oh man, I forget to talk, take out the. Uh, the light diffuser. All right, well, let's do that now. That'll be easy. And then we'll put this back in. Ooh, I wanna take a look at it again. That's a pied, not pastel, but it's a pied. Because the only codom in this mix is pastel so the most we can hope for in terms of codoms is the pastel all right so let's move on so we do have a good shot now so our chances have increased so if she's het for pied 
she's half for exanthic. I think our chances of hitting a double visual has increased to one in eight, I believe. So hopefully we'll get some nice looking exanthic pieds. This doesn't look like it. I see some yellow, so it can't be exanthic, but ooh, that's a pastel. That's a pastel for sure. Got some nice movement in here. So in this case, it's not a pied and it's not exanthic. That makes this 100% heifer pied, 66% heifer exanthic. All right, let's move on. Egg number three. Come on. Come on, we know the mom to be 100% heifer exanthic, so with the dad being heifer exanthic as well, we have a one in four chance of at least seeing an exanthic. And we have six eggs here, so that should have, that should give us enough chances. That's a pied. And this looks like, yeah, it's kind of hard, but this looks like a pastel pied. It's a little bit lighter. Um, we got some speckling on along the sides. Usually a pastel has that. I would expect more from a pastel, but it's definitely lighter in color. So we got two pieds. Two pieds. Come on. Where are they? the exantics? Come on. Let's get some more exantics. I would love to get another female exantic. Pied or no pied, just a female exantic. That's another pied. Wow, this one is super bright. Even brighter than the last one, but it doesn't have the speckling on the sides like I was expecting and explaining. Hmm. But it is beautiful. And we got three pieds. We got three pieds. Wow. Should I expect more? Should I expect more pies? I'm not sure. Let's see, the chances of pies should be half the clutch and we got three out of six. Where are the exantics? Come on. This is not an exantic. This is, that is an exantic. What am I talking about? That's a pastel exantic. Doesn't look to be pied. I don't see that pied pattern. Um, yeah, it's not even a low white. So definitely pastel exantic. I don't think I have one of these in the collection. So hopefully this will be something that I can add to the breeding team, but definitely something new. And we'll just have to find a place for it if we can. All right, so one in four chance of an exantic, and we got that. We hit the one in four. We hit the one out of two, and and ah, oh, so it's not the lightning pie, but it is another pie. Very bright. Very nice. So all the pieds are 100% het for exantic. The exantic that we saw, I'm sorry. All the pieds are 66% het for exantic. The exantic that we saw is 100% het for pied. And that pastel is like I said, 100% het for pied, 66% het for exantic. No lightning pies in that clutch, but we did make some pies and pastel pies, which means the mom is now a pastel double hat. I'm happy about that. And I'm also happy about the number of lightning pies I did make with those two earlier clutches. And so this has been a great season for my Exanthic project, but it doesn't end here. There's still one more clutch in the incubator, which could potentially reveal a Exanthic desert ghost. So make sure you stay tuned for that. 
That about wraps it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel and you want to be informed of future uploads, make sure you're subscribed and ring that notification bell. As always, thanks for watching. Please share and remember, rules for life. Peace out. Thank you.